In terms of costs, we took about another 540 odd million of sustainable saves out in the first half, and therefore the net impact of the cost is the various um, baked in inflation adjustments we have for wage price inflation, particularly in places like Latin America, which are contractual. Overall net interest margin for the group, um, really when compared to the first quarter of this year or the second half of last year, remained, remained very stable. But in terms of the key influences on that, um, margins coming through in Asia in respect of global trade and receivable, for example, remains very stable when compared to the first quarter and the second half of last year. Uh, the, the downward pressure on net interest margin by the continued runoff of the very high yielding U.S. subprime portfolio continues to be a factor um, within net interest margin overall. The first half we experienced um, much lower levels within the U.K. economy, particularly in commercial banking, as we've seen some fairly robust recovery within that U.K. economy. We saw recoveries coming through CMB as well as lower new delinquencies and restructuring. We've seen recoveries come through global banking and markets, principally in the Middle East, as, as some of the restructuring taking place in, in earlier years has proven effective. Um, certainly, the loan impairment charges within the subprime U.S. portfolio continue to decline as overall the U U.S. economy is, is, is showing some signs of sustained recovery and the U.S. housing market certainly remains in, in reasonably good shape. We're picking up benefits through the loan impairment charge line. Look, if selling rates go up in the fourth quarter, then I would expect some improvement in our revenue, but in 2015, not in the fourth quarter of 2014. So, so you should assume that any improvement would be lagged six months after the rates actually go up. And we believe that interest rates could start to rise as early as the fourth quarter of 2014 in the UK and the first half of 2015 in the USA, which has positive implications for our revenues given the size of our commercial surplus. Uh, Ukraine, uh, a very limited exposure to Ukraine, again de minimis. Obviously, we're applying the sanctions that the EU and US has applied towards Russia, so that has some impact uh, on us. Um, but what we're really signaling there is, is much more concern about the Middle East um, and obviously what's happening in the Middle East, particularly what's happening uh, with ISIS and its possible later implications for the Gulf countries.